So let's see if I can get any declutter out of this or if I'm just going to hoard it all. I keep the goofiest things. I want to thank Michelle over at My Everyday Wife Life for conning me into doing this. Yeah. I'm just going to leave that alone. I, I have problems when they're pretty. I have huge problems when they're pretty. Hello and welcome to day 18. Actually on the 18th. As you all know, I filmed day 17 this morning before work. It is now, I'm cooking dinner. It's nearly four o'clock. I think it might even be four o'clock. And we are going to go through my junk drawer in my kitchen. I just opened the drawer and randomly picked out stuff to add up to 18 items out of one drawer. We're starting with three because we had three left over from yesterday, which was technically this morning. Oh, it doesn't even want to open. Crud. What happened? It doesn't want to open. Okay. Well, it's because I have all my, not even all, you know how you get things when you get a new product and somehow we just, for whatever reason, throw them in this drawer. I have a container to save them in. Matter of fact, I should go through it and, and declutter that as well. Maybe we can do that when we do this drawer. But literally, just to speedily get through 18, I opened this drawer and pulled out all of these items minus my glasses. So we started at three, so here's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, funny story with these, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 items in the drawer. Still looks like that. I don't know how it happens. I can't explain it. Well, it's kind of like this thing up here that thing I can clean that off and within a month it's just loaded down with papers that we felt the need to keep that we never touch again until they go in the trash but I do it time and time and time again that's what this is all about I hope you are finding that this is motivating and inspiring you to get up and do a thing or two um, I still need to put a picture up on that wall. It was Christmas stuff. We're now in February and I still don't have anything up there. I want to take the whole thing down and start completely fresh back there. I really want to put a shelf up there, but Tom's not keen on that. Whatever. So yeah, we got day 18 done real quickly. I'm making tri-tip for dinner and broccoli because you got to have some veggies. You want to see my tri-tip? They had a sale at the town that my kids live in, at the grocery store there down the street. And they were $2.99 a pound. And we got three massive tri-tips for 20 bucks. Gonna be a good dinner.
Okay, I have well over 19 things in this basket and it's scraps of paper. Paper, I don't know why I kept an entire weird thing of random ribbon. Um, we're just gonna call this day 19 and I'm not even counting them. It's probably half of day 22, but done. This armoire is gonna go in the spare room, which is the room next over. So I need to clean this out completely. This is gonna house a TV and a DVD player, the one that is was in my office with the big TV. It's going to house the movies for the guest room. So I need to get all of my craft supplies out of it. And while I'm doing it, I'm gonna do my best to minimize stuff or see if we can add anything to the declutter um, which is going to absolutely destroy my office and I'm well aware of that but we are putting new uh, shelves that I bought uh, the Ikea lac shelves in my closet for some storage and I'm going to buy them big um, canvasy type boxes to fill for my craft supplies and things like that, um, just to have one less piece of equipment here inside my office minimizing. So let's see if I can get any declutter out of this or if I'm just gonna hoard it all. It's a definite possibility that I don't wanna get rid of nothing, but I'm betting I can get rid of at least a few things. There's obviously memorabilia stuff, like my daughter-in-law bought me that when she was like 16 years old. I'm not ever going to get rid of that. Um, and this was my mother's. I'm not getting rid of it. This is normally on my desk for whatever reason it's inside this closet. So we have washi upon washi. I don't know if you can see this. This whole bowl is completely full of washi. And I think I have a box full of it as well. Um, we'll go through washi on another day. Maybe I can get rid of a whole day's worth just in washi, which is slightly scary, but. If you saw how much I had, I bet I could. This was going to be a crafty type thing where you make all cutesy um, cards. I've come to the realization that you can't have all the cute things that sit up outside of it because it won't roll. So I need to just declutter this. So, ha, huh, what do you know? I found something. So right behind this door right here is my hamper that I'm going to try to fit 20 items in. Ooh. Look at this bowl. And all my washi, oh dear lord. See, there's things like this. Do I count that? It's just literally straight up clutter. Why I felt the need to keep um, packaging. I have a problem with keeping packaging. Two, tracing paper. See, I hope you can see all this. A lot of it is not going to be stuff I get rid of. Again, I was painting three. I don't think there's anything. In oh, yeah, there is. So apparently this was a storage idea. I think at some point in time, I can move all my stickers somewhere else and declutter this, but today's not the day for that. Oh, this was, um, what is my leadership finder? I don't know if you want to count decluttering and yet another tablet. If the decluttering consists of taking it back to work, should I count that? Probably not because I'm not technically getting rid of it. I'm moving it from one office to another. So I can't, even though I want to. Um, this is all patterns, crochet patterns. If y'all don't know, I'm also the crochet crazy lady here on YouTube. Not that I put, oh, and quilting supplies. Patterns, patterns, patterns. You don't technically need them, but these are patterns that I actually want to do, uh, to make. So I think I'll keep that. And then I also teach piano. I have, I know you can't see it, but several songbooks in here that I teach from. 
I can't get rid of those, but I also don't exactly know what to do with them. Oh, you would think that I was done with all the washing. <laughs> there is just washi. Oops. Now there's washi on the floor. So there's washi. Washi. There's, you know what I did? I put a spring loaded tension rod from end to end on the inside of this and it has a, it holds all my washi. If you keep it like maybe a little less than an inch away from the wall, all of your washi will just sit on there. I outgrew that years ago, but it all has to come out. But decluttering it might be a really good way to get one of the days done. I absolutely feel like I tried to declutter this in a in a declutter video already and now I'm glad I didn't now I'm glad I have it because my makeup is all back in my bathroom so I'm glad I have it look at those pretty vases that I got at the Goodwill one day and they house some craft tools in there and you say Gina you don't do a lot of crafting anymore you're right I don't oh look at all the craft supplies to the to the brim today's not the day Let's see what's in this one. I think it's paint. I think everything in here is paint. Am I right? Yep, paint. I could probably put more paint in it. That's a good idea. Just streamline the clutter. Put it all in the box. Does that count? <laughs> I know that doesn't count, but at least it's better. Okay, some newer thread. Um, I think I'm gonna maybe put a sewing area back up once this is gone. Okay, these are all my books. I love my books, even though I have a hard time reading because I have seriously decluttered books in the past. Down from, um, I believe my original count before I started decluttering was 2,400 books inside my home, 2,400 books, and I'm down to, I feel like the last count was I was under 200 total. So um, I think I've done extremely well. I don't really read because for those of you who are new and do not know me that well, um, I have a vision problem. My vision comes and goes. And um, so sometimes I can't see it all. Some things I'm willing to get rid of, other things, no. I am making a pile for my grandkids, but honestly, I think they might be too old for these, so these can go. So here's four and five. Look how cute that little Mary, little lamb is. Is that not just sweet? I don't think the book's in it. Yeah, it is. But um, that was when I was junk journaling. Oh, this was going to be a cover. I don't know. I might see, need to find someone or some way to sell some of this stuff on Etsy possibly because I just have I mean I have hundreds of patterns and um, vintage baby patterns and vintage lady patterns and I bought this at a yard sale I mean not a yard sale at a thrift store for $1.91 and I bought it because it's the year my husband <laughs> was born he probably don't even want this I should ask him my sister got me this best friends I think it's Sandra Cook maybe Probably in the 80s or the 90s. <laughs> I paid a dollar ninety-one for it. Yeah. He was like, um, I said I should have had a camera on you so they could have seen your expression. Yeah, he doesn't want it. So, seven? Six. I got this for Mother's Day from my grandkids' hands on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 2018, a few years ago. I don't really know what to do with the books until I'm ready to... I don't know. I don't know what to do. So I know I need the piano music, so I'm just going to go set it on the piano bench. Not that I even know when I'm going to be able to have a piano student in my house again. Oh, what's this, people? What's this, old timers? <laughs> Here's our code 2020 tasks that I didn't finish. Thoughts? Should I pick it back up when this is over? Because let me just tell you, in March I ain't doing nothing. But should I pick this back up or should I start or we start something all new? What are your thoughts? Tell me ideas. Because we know we like to declutter in this channel. We know that. Not to this extent ever again. 
I don't even use mechanical pencils very often. I'm going to get rid of these four pencils and just count them as one. So what, what are it, seven now? I have these little, um, they're Nouveau crystal drops. And it looks really cute, but I don't know how much I'm ever going to leave them out like this. Look how the tops are so cute. Oh, I, I, I have problems when they're pretty. I have huge problems when they're pretty. Then we're getting into my journals. My girlfriend bought me this one, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. This, isn't it cute? It says, get it done. But I don't know if it's dated. I kind of wrote all through it. But then there's just pages and pages of not written through. If you have things like this, should do you tear out the pages that you wrote in that you didn't really follow through on the year and keep it and do it again, or do you get rid of the whole thing? Answer that for the Gina. <laughs> it's really cute, but I just don't really use it. I think I can get rid of this. Eight. I don't think I'm going to retire happy. I'm just being honest. I'm going to get rid of this nine. This is my first uh, traveler's notebook that my husband bought me. And um, I had it in my cart because I was looking at it. And I had purple picked because that was the color that came up. So he bought me purple thinking I wanted purple. I'm not a fan of purple, but yet I'm not willing to get rid of it because it's the first one I ever had. And it's really pretty. And I do periodically, from year to year, use it. So, all of this is staying. I think I can pass on these little devotions. So we're 10. Are we at 9? I forget. We're at 9. So here's 10 and 11. Here is a journal that I've not used. It's puffy and it's... Um, I prefer ones that have the page that turns all the way over. I can pass this on. For someone to use and love. I don't need this. That's all the explanation I need. Pack of napkins. Again, what with the packaging, Gina. Diane, I just love you. I kept your packaging because it has your address on it, which I'm going to go ahead and tear off and get it written in my book. And get rid of the packaging because we don't need it. I keep the goofiest things. This is my box of cards that I've received from you guys. And I look through it when I need some uplifting or some encouragement. And um, it's always such a blessing. And some of the things have a few things left in them. And then some are just filled up with other cards. But this is all from you guys. And I have another box in the closet over there that was full. But, um, yeah. Thank you. I do not need this. I don't need it. Do I need it? Oh, my heavenly stars. Okay, I got all these for crafting. I am never going to use that to donate it to the church because they do use these. If I ever need one or two, I know where to find it. Do I need that? Tell me, anybody, do I need this cookbook? I've never found anything in it that I was interested in. It's going away. Okie dokie, smoky. See what I'm saying? An old Costco whatever idea book. There's a bunch of embossing envelopes, cards, 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 cards galore. Project Life. I have never done Project Life one day in my life. It's a recipe book. I don't know. 
again with the packaging. I made that. Spent a lot of time doing it. Hey, it's just stupid. This feels really good, actually. I enjoyed my time when I was doing it. It's a stupid thing to hang on to. Like, why? This is some stuff that we did when my grands were over. My sister. Yeah. I don't need all that. 20. Again, with the packaging and the wraps and the returns. I don't know why I do this. Was that it? Oh, that was it. 20. We're on day 20. Oh my God. Yay. Woohoo. Day 20 is in the wraps. I about kept going. Okay, these are the bottom two shelves in that same cabinet. Some of my Bibles, three of my Bibles, I have a ton of Bibles. I do not need this, so we're going to count this as one. Here's my sewing machine. See, there's no rhyme or reason to where I have everything. All my extra little feet. And again, more ribbon. Oh, I get to have a field day with just ribbon. Here's the majority of my thread. This is a memorabilia box, pictures and stuff. Our things when my granddaughter was born, visitors pass. Some old recipes, babies. This is a memorabilia box. I have no idea what's in this. Ooh. And this stuff. I think this is sewing notions. Yep, more thread. Yeah, there's, I'm not going to get rid of any of this. This is just a box of cards that I use. I'm about halfway through it. I send out cards. Birthday card for my friend Michelle. Are y'all more organized than me and keep all this stuff together? Because I'm terrible at it. Oh, this is a family secret. That is not for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> it's a family recipe. And here's a bunch of, I don't even know what, tore out recipes from... I don't need these. I don't ever even look at these. Okay, so we're going to call this two. Another recipe, three. Newspaper, four. Oh, when you guys were in grammar school, did you get a cookbook? Did you make a cookbook and get to keep it? That's what this is. Oh, I love that. What did I do with that recipe? This is from when I was in grammar school. Keeping that, man, I need to be more organized. Oh, I'm going to tell you something I can get rid of. Even though this is my absolute most viewed video, I'm getting rid of these Spark Joy KonMari books. So, four and five. I think it's a slight gimmick. I think that... It's a non-sustainable way to live. Like seriously, it is one of, it is my most viewed video um, because of the name, but it's just not sustainable in my opinion. I don't think there's anything else in this cabinet that I'm going to get rid of. So we're going to call this done and I'll have to find somewhere to put this so we can get this moved. So we were at five on the floor for day 21 and let's go find somewhere else. I have this one bookshelf that's in my bedroom that I think I might be able to find a few more things to add to day 21 because I'm going to use this bookshelf for, I'm going to paint it white for one thing and use it in my office. So let's see if we can get rid of anything else. That, I'm not reading. I have not touched these books since the last time we decluttered. I don't read at all. So I'm feeling like Possibly I could get rid of some. For one, here's my husband's Bible. I don't know why he put it in this bookshelf. But we're not getting rid of his Bible. 
Okay, this is a series by Mindy Starr. Ooh, look at the dirt. Tell you, I don't, I don't get up here. Um, this is like my favorite set of books. I almost wish that I could get it on audiobook, and I would get rid of them, but I just can't get rid of them because it is absolutely my favorite books. You're going to see dust because I never touch this. I can tell you that I'm going to get rid of these. I'm never going to read these again. This would be the second time I was reading them. It was a good series. Um, it was called The Wakefield Dynasty. I read them in the 80s. I bought them again in the early 2000s. And I left one on the plane. Maybe it was number five. I don't recall. Regardless, I have one, two, three, and four right here. I think that these can go. So we're going to say nine. Here's another one of them puffy journals that I just don't use. Ten and love and respect. I picked this book up a million times and never read it. So, so nine to eleven. My Christmas books that I set out just around the house at Christmas time for uh, decor, and I read them, even though I don't read them since I went blind. But I'm keeping those. Twelve. I have twelve out there. As time goes by, they're beautiful books. I never even actually read them. Yeah, I think I can get rid of them. Even though they're really, really pretty, they're pretty, pretty books. Like, I love this one with the piano. So, 13, 14, 15. I can get rid of um, the prints from Francine Rivers. 16. Although I love Francine Rivers, nothing wrong with her. God Calling. I actually have this book in a leather-bound book as well. So this is a duplicate. So I should just let someone get some use out of it. Where was I? <laughs> 16. 16, Gina, you're on 16. I think I got it at a time in my life when I was really struggling. And um, so we should probably let someone... Get some use out of that. 17. God's Guiding Touch for Mothers. 18. I definitely recommend this book by Francine Rivers called The Scarlet Thread. But I've read it twice. I'm not going to read it again. I'm going to pass it on. Oh, am I at 18? 16. 17, 18, 19. No, I wasn't. 20. Dang it, I need one more thing. And I'm not opening my closet. I can't tell you one thing I found that I need to do. My hair is driving me crazy. I need to get the hair up, Gina. Get the hair up. I need one more item. No looking in my closet. Okay, I found my 21st thing. <laughs> Why do I keep boxes? I don't know. 21. I'm done. Dear God, I'm done. This is hard, people. And we have another whole week. I want to thank Michelle over at My Everyday Wife Life for conning me into doing this. Yeah. We're just going to leave that alone. And all the girls that are playing along will be listed below. I appreciate y'all. This video is long enough. Thank God I split it up. Just no way for me to get it all in into one video. And you have to watch everybody's videos that day there's it's too much it's too much too much too much so i'm going to condense this as much as i can to doodle it along and we will catch you all next week for the final week dear god the biggest week of the minimalism game the 2021 edition and we are doing it girls we are doing it what did you declutter this week to help you along and streamline your world how did you do this week and i hope this was motivational to you if you're new and you're coming over from one of the other channels i so appreciate you i say welcome to some crazy you're gonna get it often when you come and see my channel and um yeah we're just going to leave that alone. You get all that. You know how it works. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up. Share it if you think somebody will like it. And we will catch you next time. Happy Sunday and God bless. Bye.